In this clip, we're going to be talking about adjustment layers in After Effects. An adjustment layer is another form of layer that we can create inside of After Effects. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to use this composition that I created. To create a layer, we can go to Layer, New, and we can select Adjustment Layer, or you can see that the keyboard shortcut is Control, Alt, and Y. For now, I'm going to left click it. And you'll see that a new layer will appear on our composition. So what is an adjustment layer? Right off the back, an adjustment layer has no visual information. It's pretty much a clean layer. If I go to the layer properties, we will have the basic transform options, like an anchor point, position, and so on. But other than that, the layer will have no other properties. So what are adjustment layers and what are they for? Well, an adjustment layer, like I said, is a clean layer. It has no information. However, the information that is added to this layer will affect all the layers beneath it. For example, I was working in this composition, and so far I'm getting close to the result that I was looking for. But I still want to play with the colors a bit more. However, all these elements are separate. As you can see, I have a few different elements. So if I want to play with the color of my composition, I want to use one effect that will affect the rest of my effects. For now, I'm going to select my adjustment layer and I'm going to add an equalize effect. Under the color correction group, we'll have an equalize effect and I'm going to go ahead and double click that to apply it to my adjustment layer. You'll see that right off the back, we have a, a different result. So although we are applying an effect to one layer that is completely clean, the applied effect will affect all the layers beneath the adjustment layer. If I move the adjustment layer beneath other layers, you'll see that it will only affect certain layers. So anything below the adjustment layer will be affected. Everything above the adjustment layer will not. For now, I'm going to bring this all the way to the top of my layers, and I'm going to start playing with these settings. I'm going to change the style to an RGB and I'm going to bring the amount a little bit down to a 40%. You can see that the colors pop out a little more. Okay, so now that an effect is applied to an adjustment layer, if we bring down the properties, you'll see that new properties will appear under the effects option. We will find new properties every time we'll add a new effect. In this case, we have an equalized property and we can play or animate these from our timeline. Okay, so now I want to create a different look for this scene. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm going to make this a black. I'm going to hit OK. So now there's a black solid created on top of all my layers, and I'm going to create a vignette. I'm going to go and select the ellipse tool. I'm going to go close to one of my edges and I'm going to click and drag so I can make a mask around that size. I'm going to invert the mask. Now I'm going to break down the mask properties. I'm going to go to the mask feather and change this to a 300 pixels. You can see that right off the back we're starting to get a vignette. Now I'm going to press T on my keyboard and I'm going to bring this down to 50%. Now I have a vignette. However, what I want to show you is the option to create this layer into an adjustment layer. So for example, I already made this vignette and somehow I don't want to work with this anymore. I don't want this vignette anymore. But I want to keep this mask and I want to keep this shape. If I wanted to apply new effects only to this area, effects that affect effects that will be visible in all the other layers, I can simply change this solid to an adjustment layer by activating this button right here. If you hover over this icon, you'll see that After Effects will give us some information. And it'll say adjustment layer, effects applied to this layer apply to the composite of layers below that. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. And you'll see that the vignette disappears. However, just because the vignette disappeared, it does not mean that the layer is no longer active. 
if I select my layer and I apply an exposure effect and I bring down the exposure down, you can see that you can see that the edges will start to darken almost if we had a solid. So if I come down and select another effect, in this case, I'm going to go to my simulation group and I'm going to apply a CC bubbles. You can see that the effect is now being applied to the layer and the layer is affecting all the layers beneath it, just as if it was an adjustment layer. So as you can see, a solid can work as an adjustment layer, just like an adjustment layer, only as long as we activate it. And the same mask that was applied to this layer, we can copy it, we can select it. I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard, select the adjustment layer, and press Control B on my keyboard. I'm going to hide the CC bubbles. And now you can see that the layer has that mask as well. So masks can also be applied to an adjustment layer. For now, I'm going to delete this mask so I can have that color back. And I'm going to delete this solid for now. Again, any layer beneath the an adjustment layer will be affected by the effects applied to it. Any layer above it will not be affected. OK, so those are the basics of the adjustment layers inside of After Effects. Go ahead and practice and get used to these layers so you can get better at your work. Adjustment layers will always give you a great result with your work. So go ahead and practice with them and get used to them. Please make sure to hit that like button so I can continue to make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you in the next clip.